when uh when they had the shot of Buell up above Anna when she was on the couch, it made me think of that scene in um, Of Mice and Men. What? Did you read the book in high school? What? I didn't have to read it. What? Man. Did You're you guys have talking. required reading in like high school where you had to read Of Mice and Men? I didn't have to read that, no. What? I read like Great Gatsby and... Um, but you didn't read Of Mice and Men? Said it three times already. I have not. Ma'am, you haven't seen Jog or Titanic. You are not one to talk about not seeing classic, the leading classic books. <laughs> you haven't even seen Jurassic Park. I want to hear nothing <laughs> from you. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Tazina. And I'm Christine, and welcome back to Two Black Chicks. We are back with the episode seven of The Woman in the House Across the Street from the Girl in the Window. Shit wild. Why? Anna's now a suspect. What? We don't know what's going on. We don't Let's know who to trust. Like, what is happening? They found Lisa's chopped up body. Yes. They found the motor weapon, which yes. happens to be the scalpel oh, thing, thing, spatula that Anna uses. We think it's Emma. Emma. Emma is suspicious. Yes. When Emma was delivering cookies to Anna, Anna had to run upstairs to get a checkbook. Emma had time to run in the house and get yeah. something. Yeah. We also are keep, we still are hearing noises in the attic. Yes. And Rex heard noises yes. upstairs. Someone's up in that attic. So I need to know who. Someone's up there. There was a very odd painting. Yeah, of Neil. her with Neil and Emma. It was very creepy. Which, who else could have painted that but her? I, I don't know. Unless maybe someone got it. Like, maybe someone hired someone to paint something like yeah. this. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe Emma's a prodigy. <laughs> maybe she's a painting prodigy. Oh, my God. I, I mean, know. she did have that one drawn. Of the, the fish or whatever it was, and it was pretty good. The, the duck, the duck, the duck, the fish, the fish, the duck. The duck. <sighs> but um, so we're gonna get into episode seven. We've got two more episodes left. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this ends. I need to know how it ends. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna be shook. Shook. Sure. I'm gonna be screaming. Like, get ready for it to get loud and wild. <sighs> so grab your snacks, grab your drink, grab your blanket, grab your stress balls, and let's get into it. <laughs> Prints on this ten print card. I was being so gentle. I was gonna say. Give me your right hand. And I'm gonna start with your right. I wanna get finger points. Now we're yeah. not gonna be pushing your print uh, straight down. Which her hand finger points are gonna be all over. So push the hand like a stamp or a yeah. thing. Roll it very gently. I don't like. I don't like this man. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now I feel like he's just gonna like snap a finger. Like I don't. It's too <laughs> calm. Gently roll it. There you go. I don't need the pep talk for finger <laughs> points here. Yeah, I don't remember being very uncomfortable with the whole thing. I was like, I do not need to be. Yeah, <laughs> Larry took me, and he was just like, it might hurt a bit, and I was like, hurt. It just, but it's finger print. It didn't hurt. He just, I think he meant more of like them like pushing on my fingers. Right. But like, I got out, and he was like, did it go okay? I'm like, yeah, it didn't hurt. Let's let's go. We were also what like. 14, 15 when we did this? Oh, yeah, yeah, like. You're very young. Yeah, like 15, 16. Yeah, you're a little bit older. Than yeah. Yeah. yeah, but uh, have you guys ever been fingerprinted? Let us know. Or you don't have to. I was going to say, you don't need to do that. Did disclose. it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> don't feel you have to disclose that information. But did it hurt? <laughs> Not my punch is not. I'm here in an interrogation room. How do you think what? my day is going? All right. That's all I need. You got ink on your finger. Damn, yeah. I couldn't have a wipe? Yeah, She's so fed up with him. <laughs> is that it? Can Why flowers? What? Excuse me? You paint flowers. How come? Honestly, I wanted to know why as well. The starving artist, barely making ends meet. My first brush with any kind of uh, success was an accident, really. The little guy. Where's the dog now? I bored one day, so I... Painted my dog as the Mona Lisa. She face? painted her dog. <laughs> yes! yes! I would buy that. I, is that. I want that. Oh, look! More people! Tons of orders. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! The cottage industry of putting people's dogs into mess. Oh, oh my god. That. Oh my <laughs> god, I can't. These are a little strange. <laughs> getting burnt out. Just brought in the most beautiful bouquet of flowers. I stared at it and. Felt this passion rising up 
inside of me that I'd never felt before. Sure, it wasn't vomit. I had. Just when I get fired, I'm like, damn, now I gotta keep you alive. Same. Girl. I get stressed. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to feel like I need to now mother and nurture this flower. Okay, I'm going to forget about these in a couple of days. And then I'm going to look back and there's going to be petals on the table. There's so. going to be like crusty and yeah. dead. And I'm like. <sighs> Our handyman, Buell, yeah. custom built me an easel. So I that is oh. amazing. Wow. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I love. Why is there paint on your forehead? I'm probably painted. drenched. Oh. So delicate. Yeah. Okay. Brave enough. Let's put it up dangerous, but hey. Just don't get it in your eyes. I was gonna say it's dripping everywhere. For the next three months in that bed. I'm sorry, yeah. she was on bed rest for three months. It sounds like it. Cause she had And it was the best. Because she was at rest of an early pregnancy and that's very dangerous, so Three months? Yeah. How do you not get bed sores? Oh well, they move on a little bit, like you know. Oh my god. But she couldn't look on. I can't handle being in bed alone for like five hours. You know. I can't, I can't. I know. That's too much. My bones be like, we gotta get up, we gotta stretch. Yeah, we gotta move, we, we gotta, gotta pee. <laughs> <laughs> I always have to pee, right? So I'm, I'm gonna say that every time. I said it in Titanic when when Leo was painting the chest. Yeah, I, I and I was like, yeah. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to stay still for that long. I have to pee, so. <laughs> oh my god. Can you stand up, please? Face the wall. What's going on? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. What's happening? The prince were a match, Anna. No shit. Anna Whitaker, you are under arrest for the murder of Chastity Linkus. No, I have right to Chastity Linkus. Silence. Detective Lane. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Of course her fingerprints are on them. They're hers. That's what I'm saying. They are hers. <sighs> Oh, not booking. Put your clothes in the bag. Oh, not, oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 not a mug not shot. Mug shot. In here. Why is she so calm? I would be in tears. <laughs> I can't handle this. <laughs> I can't handle this kind of stress. I would be in tears. Oh, oh yeah, oh. Absolutely Blubber. not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I didn't do it. I swear. Like, oh my god. I was on my couch. Uh oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. That's not what happened. I don't think, yeah, I just, I don't think that's what happened. That's what you wanted to do when she was on the Peloton, but like. Yes. Not what happened. Um. Take my hand. Is, is, this, this, is, this, a is this real? Is this, is this a hallucination? What I mean, he's got his FBI, so they probably yeah, think but like, like it's okay. Come with me. I don't is I don't know if this is real. Oh, this is not real. Yeah, not at all. We'll go into the light. Oh, oh. What's happening? Just a little bit further. What? How is she on the brink of death? Douglas, wait. <laughs> oh, it's, is it his wedding to the other girl? Maybe. But she's in a wedding dress. I don't get it. Yeah. 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 Um. Wait. Why does the priest have wine? Oh. Hey. That was intense. Hey. Okay. I, th I thought we were fine. I thought we were moving forward. Oh Why are we God. trying to kill the girlfriend now? That's very intense. I have to show you something. Oh. Oh, I thought it. Oh, yep. It's a gun. If you come anywhere. He's, he's quite, like, Wishy-washy. Yeah, baby. he's very wishy-washy. You just believe in anything at this point, huh? This motherfucker with the mailbox. How hard is it to put a fucking mailbox up? <laughs> you ever put mailboxes up and it takes this damn long and I just don't know? Fuck. Email me the shit. I don't want my mailbox anymore. He didn't need to come over and say anything. He really didn't. He didn't give a fuck about you. Especially she doesn't even know if she did this one, so. Also, I wonder, is there a license to carry in this area? Yeah, he's like, how do you? Right, like, oh, oh sweetie. Are we dreaming that? She's not under any drugs, so like... I know. That's or like, alcohol. She hasn't been under any drugs or alcohol for a few days. Yeah. So... I'm, I'm kind of just taking everything that's going on. 
Yeah, you dumped him out, dumbass. God damn. I mean... You don't need it either. Yeah. But you dumped you, everything especially out. Especially not right now. Excuse me? Someone is in your house. Oh, bitch. Glavine. Well, no, don't Glavine. I mean, Glavine, but like, don't lose it all. I mean, self defense. It's her house. You better slice them up. Who the fuck has been in her house this entire time? I bet you it's Emma. That's what I'm thinking it's Emma. I, she, there's like some kind of secret entry she saw. She's like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to tear out That fucking window in the attic is always open. But how is Emma getting up there? A ladder. I don't know. A, a three-story ladder that Emma is just carrying around nonchalantly? Well, maybe there's like a ladder or something up against the house or a way for her to climb. I don't know. But that attic is like, come on. I, I get it. I get it. Damn Shane about it doing all that. <laughs> <gasps> that's not real. That's not real. That's, that's not real. Oh, it's real. Bitch. Okay. I need you to call, oh, the call, the call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Wait, that's just... Therapist? Therapist. I mean, there's blood in it. Why don't you just be pink? Oh! But she doesn't really keep. She doesn't really keep large amounts of paint. It's the it's the tube paint that she puts on the thingy. Mm -hmm. So like, also that was super liquidy. Yeah, I don't know. I want her to go back, and I want to know if it's real. But, but he's like, you're not a killer. And you know, ther therapists know all. Defense. Cle clearly, Defense. they know everything. Defense. They study, they study body language and how women act. Body language? But she's not with her. He doesn't just know. how she's acting. It's all on the phone. How she's acting. She lied to him. Oh my god. He doesn't know what's going on. I was your Jesus. Oh my god. 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 I don't. That's a, the whole time. I mean, he does for the FBI study how serial killers work. So he probably does have some type of therapy. Like, well, why would you have your background. Why would you have your ex husband be your therapist? I have no idea. That's such a conflict of interest. I know. I have no idea. What? I, I thought she was talking to a real like therapist that wasn't her husband. What? Some more because the, I, I, they need this to make sense. Your husband. I don't. I'm the reason Elizabeth. See, dead. and that's why it's a conflict of interest yeah, right I here. I left her alone uh, in that room. Ah. Uh, if it's anyone's fault, it's mine. Oh wait. Just, oh, he's like with a serial killer. He said it was with a patient. Yeah, but I thought it was a therapist. It's not your fault. I'm sure as hell isn't your fault. Maybe it's nobody's fault. Uh, it's, it's, so, it's, it's yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's. You guys together. Collectively, you both were together. And also Massacre Mike. But you guys <laughs> together are the reason why she was in the situation she was in. Yeah. You should have never made him take her to work. He should have never said yes. And he damn sure shouldn't have never took her into the interrogation yeah. with him. And then left her in there. And then the door locked. I just, I can't. I can't with the door locking from the inside. Okay. I can't. So, so what does this say? It's assuming this is real, because he said I'm on the phone with the patient. Right, so, like, right. that that's to be real. So, you're saying that he has been her therapist this whole time? This whole time. How is that beneficial to her at all? I mean, she doesn't I have guess. a third party person that's yeah. outside of the situation. It is the worst situation. Growing up, my mom, my mom had us going to a family therapist, but then I, like myself, my brother, and her individually were also seeing individual therapists they were all the same person 
And so it was, and even as a kid, I knew that this was not beneficial. So it was like, you know everything my brother's saying. Yeah. You know everything my mom is saying. You're not you, seeing this from just my point of view. You're seeing it from everybody's point of view. And like, how is this any different? Yeah. Like, yeah. He can't give her like unbiased advice at all. Right. You saying it's not your fault. Bitch, it could be your fault. Yeah. I, I can't. I cannot. Oh, I love how I like said something, then turn it back on and immediately pause it because that's the bullshit that's in my mind. I get that that must be the bombshell for this episode. He's I mean, I mean, it sure. worked. It worked. <sighs> Blew up my life. Not, not, not in a good way. Now I'm just like irritated. I'm pissed. I am I, pissed. I wanted like more, you know, kind of solve the mystery murder type of thing. Not. I need you to go back up to see what was in the attic. Yeah, yeah. I need you to pop that shit open. Get up I need there. You to stand back a little bit, pop it open, and then run so nothing falls. <laughs> Hopefully not a body. <laughs> just, just stand behind it so it opens in front of you. <sighs> How much longer do we have of this? Oh Eight my minutes. god, there's so much left. Hey. Okay, you're gonna go up there. Yeah. Thank you. Let's progress. I don't want to go up there. Can you come here and then we can go up there? <laughs> how about how about I wait for you here? And then you go up there. <laughs> and then and then you. I will stay here for emotional support. Okay. I was gonna say there. this poor guy across the table. It, I'm with you. You're not. With You're me. not. Like, what if she gets murdered? If someone jumped down and stabbed me, you will not be getting stabbed. <laughs> I will be the one getting stabbed. You are then not here with me. You can do it, Anna. Truth. Imagine. Is it still there? It's the blood. I don't, I don't know. Oh, the blood. Made it, is the blood still there? No light. No. Oh, light. no blood. No blood. Is that red? Oh, I was gonna say that does look red. Can we turn a light on? Not that flimsy fucking light up there that keeps flickering. Also, I will never go anywhere head first. <laughs> I do not like addicts for that reason. Yeah, that's so helpful. Oh my god. What? What is it? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Thank God. What did I say? Again, call me up. He needs the motor solved. Because, bitch, I called it. Again. I said, it's probably pain. Uh. Woo! Pain. It's a memory of me stabbing her. You were yeah, right! Yeah, that! <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> this is my calling, apparently, to just get you and follow the motor. Just call 1-800-Christine to <laughs> But I, I swear I've never seen this before. I didn't watch any sneak peeks. Like, I swear this, this is all wild. that genuine. So she, but does that mean that she painted it? I don't know. I don't know. But it's her in it. So yeah. she's stabbing herself? I don't, I feel, I don't know. I don't maybe, know. Maybe she drew Lisa, stabbed it, yeah. and then changed the face. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. We've got a few more minutes. I want to know. Yep. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God. That is it. <laughs> we have solved everything. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> Got it. Oh, sure. Okay, so now we know we need to know who the murderer is. But she does paint people. Interesting. Well, I guess because she was painting the dogs and the Mona Lisa. I need to fix so. I don't know why I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but that was just that was just too coincidental. So, but because I said that too, she stopped the painting. Yeah. But she painted her on the Peloton. Probably didn't remember that either. But that is the same outfit that, that the you were wearing yeah. in the flashback. So what I need her to do is get the detective. Yes. And be like, see? I didn't stab see? her. I stabbed the painting. The painting. Which I can see how you would think that would correlate to me also stabbing her. Oh, okay, right, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Don't, don't tell the detective. <laughs> oh, sure. Never mind. I've never jumped out of my feet before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is wild. I didn't stab her. I stabbed a painting. I didn't kill anybody. Of course you didn't. But they found my palette knife next to her body. Oh, is he gonna is he gonna solve it? There's gotta be an explanation. Someone could have taken the knife from the house. Who 
Emma. Could anyone have gotten into the house without you knowing? Emma. Emma! Bio! Why do they have gloves? He was. And he would have a ladder to the beginning. From like ladder. episode three. He was like, I said, oh my god. He would have, it would be weird if he had a ladder. Well, after two and a half months, not bad. Oh my god. Maybe he's mad at her for destroying the family that they have. I don't know. I want to know what his motive is. Same. I want to know why he can't fix the mailbox. <laughs> I'm okay. like, the poison and keep an eye That's out. what I'm thinking. But still, I need you to find something else to do. I need you to find something more believable. I think it has something to do with like the family breaking up. Yeah. So let's me on. So, but then why would he, if if Buell is the murderer, why would he kill Lisa? Do you think it's because Anna and Lisa had a scuffle? Maybe. He was like, you don't go after my my Anna. So that doesn't explain all of the previous situations with me. That's why it doesn't make me think it's Buell. I still think it's Emma, but what if like Buell is working with like Neil and Emma? I don't know. What if they are like like she stole the damn lock picking kit? Maybe they took the gloves from him and used that to grab the scaffold. Planted it. Yeah. Oh my god. So that their fingerprints would be on it. Mm -hmm. Your fingerprints aren't gonna be on it. Except the gloves. There would be nothing just Emma. on it. Or just just Anna. Oh my god. What? Let's this finish is, the episode. Oh my god, this is insane. This is too much. This is too much. Oh, was was Buell the one that that picked her up and carried her in the house that I night? Thought... We didn't see Neil. We just assumed. Oh, that's true. Oh, and then he had access. Uh, oh, I don't like that. I would shit my pants if I woke up and saw that. I'm. Oh my god. What the fuck? Anna. Buell has been living up here. What? I knew I had been hearing noises and it was fucking Buell. Good God. Douglas, is there anything about Buell that you didn't tell me? I came up hard light. When you hired him to fix our mailbox. All those years He'd been fi- Like what? He'd been fixing this mailbox for years? And no one thought he was strange? That this man can't fix a mailbox? He made that whole easel and he can't fix the mailbox. You know, you know, after like a couple of days, I'm gonna look at my handyman and be like, so you can't, is this something wrong here? We're on day four. I'm not gonna keep paying you to stand here and total your thumb or pretend. Well, nail your fucking hand. I can't believe he's been living up there. I didn't think he was living up there. I didn't. Uh, I wonder if he. Has some like serial killer tendencies because oh, of that because of his lack of emotion. He said that you know rough up with his parents. He doesn't like his mom and he doesn't Apparently, like his dad. This fucker found him, which oh. we can't trust. Well, she's asking him to like is there anything we didn't tell yeah. me about him when you hired him to fix the robot. I, I, I want to hear what he says though. Let's what what does he say about his past? How did he become our handyman? He was my patient. Ah! Your patient. Yeah, my very first patient. I uh, rehabilitated him and, and got him released early. From where? You hired State Hospital. He had been found criminally insane. You hired. What did he do? He killed his entire family with a claw hammer. Ah! Uh, <laughs> this man and hired someone that he rehabilitated. He was found criminally insane. He killed his entire family. And you were like, you know what? You know what? Come come be a handyman for my family. And he said it so like nonchalantly. He thinks this is okay. Sir, I need you to seek a therapist. Because clearly you're not hearing the shit that you're saying. Oh no one in their right mind would A hire someone who killed their entire fucking family. Well and and did you hear when he came into the house with Anna with the nail that um cause uh cause he was like, Oh I never or like like you know, you're nothing like my mother, but yeah. I see you as like a mother or yeah. something like that. Yeah. I was like Yeah, I heard that. And I was like that's that's a bit too gotcha to say. Yeah. I do not ever say that to me again. Yeah. Why did you not tell me about this before? 
Well, I didn't think you would want him to work for us. I wouldn't have. Dip shit. I needed someone to fix the mailbox. There are people who haven't. <laughs> what? Buell did it. He killed her. He must have taken one of my palette knives, but he was wearing gloves. That's why my fingerprints are still on it. Anna, where's Buell right now? I don't know. Listen to me. I want you to get out of there. Get <laughs> down there and wait for you. Of course he is. Oh, Anna, get the hell out of and it's raining. Oh, oh, oh! Ah! All right, all right. So we we called it. But you always but suspect. who's killing the women before? I know. Maybe they were just pure coincidence. Oh uh, well, maybe. Oh I my mean, you got shit in front of the pure coincidence. When uh when they had the shot of Buell up above Anna when she was on the couch, it made me think of that scene in um, of Mice and Men. What? Did you read the book in high school? What? I don't know, I didn't have to read it. What? Ma'am. Did you guys have talk. required reading in like high school where you had to read of mice and men? I didn't have to read that, no. What? I read like Great Gatsby and um, You didn't read of mice and men? I said it three times already. I have not. Ma'am, you haven't seen Jaws or Titanic. You are not one to talk about not seeing classics or reading classic books. <laughs> you haven't even seen Jurassic Park. I want to hear nothing <laughs> from you. <laughs> but that... Okay, so Buell. I, but I, uh, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like... Uh, I just... I don't know. I feel like Buell might be like a, like a, is it like a red herring? Yeah. Where like we think it's Buell and then maybe it's actually someone else. I don't know. I don't but know. But like he's literally walking over to Neil and he's really not very handy man. It's also Maybe raining. he got hired. It's also raining. I love how the ex-husband is surprised that the mailbox still isn't fixed. How, how does he not, didn't he drive over there for the Exactly. Day? Wouldn't you see? Oh, there's still no mailbox. Also, he was fixing that bitch the entire time you guys were living there. And you didn't think Since there's something Since before mad? the daughter was born. Maybe, maybe not before the daughter was born. Before, well, yes, so, they built the easel. You're with them. Oh, you're right. So and they hired the, him to fix the mailbox. Before the daughter was born. I mean, he was like, we needed our mailbox fixed. And he would have said no. There are plenty of other people. Bitch, you, you could have took a lesson and fixed the fucking mailbox. Not sponsored? Go on Angie's list. <laughs> how, dare, how dare you get a criminal oh my God. that murdered their entire family to join our family? How fucking dare you? And this man felt like he was a part of the family. He was building easels. He was there for the pregnancy. Uh-uh. 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 Uh, this is wild. But, like, if he's out here, like, killing people for Anna, wouldn't you think Carol would have been a suspect as well? Because she's out here. I feel like I feel like that would be too suspicious, though. Because there's, there's nothing, like, how, how how do you talk that away? I don't know. I mean, how do you murder your whole family? Yeah, and... exactly. exactly. I'm just saying. But, she's okay. out here, like, solving stuff for Anna. After you fix on all her problems. I mean, maybe this is the first time, right? I don't know. But that was that was episode seven. Join us next episode. We're gonna finish this series. I already know. We're gonna fall off the chair. We're gonna scream. <laughs> we'll be pissed off. Something. There's gonna be a lot of emotions. I already know. But make you gonna say anything else? I'm just flabbergasted. Same. Flabber. Make sure to like. Comment, subscribe, make sure to hit that bell so you know how this ends. Right, and follow but, us on social media because we want to see if people, are, what you guys expect. What are you thinking? What's going on? Like, yeah. are you also a detective? Right. Like, did you figure it out? Recommend some other shows for us, please. Because yeah. I love this. Wild. This you is guys love watching us watch this. Wild. We are just watching it. We are detectives. <laughs> They study, they study body language and how he acts. Body language? But she's not with her. He doesn't just know. saying how she's acting. It's all on the phone. How she's acting. She lied to him. Oh my gosh. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs>